good morning and welcome to dark and dreary Winnipeg minus 8.5 not bad for this time of year okay so another another new look <laughs> so where is the uh, monitor for the camera now <laughs> for those of you who are camera buffs you're probably thinking, no, I can't see what settings it's at. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we can do something about that here. Okay. Now you're getting to see <laughs> what I see. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I put this here to remind me to mention that people are starting to uh, recommend uh, different paints for the Yamato. And we were talking about, you know, I'd, I'd want to make sure I got a color that was a different shade to what the plastic is, so it makes it a lot easier to paint. Anyway, I'm not going to have the problem that I got right now with our Iowa. The 19 is almost identical to the plastic. Uh, it's just that after after it's sprayed on, it, it sort of flattens it out and it doesn't have that plastic look, but it has the exact same shade. At least to my eye, it's the same. Uh, for instance, this piece that you're looking at the bare plastic, and on, on this side, you're you're looking at the at the paint. It's it's pretty much the same as far as I'm concerned. Um, I was going to mention something else here, and I forgot what. It, oh, I made a base for this last night. It's just a just a piece of wood, <laughs> cheap wood, very cheap wood, but it works. And uh, we'll, we'll try that out and then see if this is going to be if it's going to be better. I, th I think it will. I'm not using it right now because if I had if I have it stuck under the camera there right now, you're not going to see it unless, of course, I take a picture of it. But I mean, I think one picture like that is enough. So we'll we'll try this out later. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it actually. Um, I, I you know I, I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. Uh, it's funny how these things go. You know, I, I think about doing something and, and it takes a long time for me to actually get around to doing it, no matter how much of a good idea it is. Uh, one of the viewers was mentioning that I could mount my camera on a boom. And I had come up with all kinds of drawings about how I could make a, a, a boom that would sort of be clamped onto maybe the overhead or off to the side, maybe on dollies. And I was thinking of, you know, welding something up really heavy duty. And, uh, you know, it would be sort of like a, uh, and not only would it go up and down and like this, but it could be moved around like sort of like a, a mobile, uh, a kid's mobile that you put over the crib, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I came up with a lot of elaborate ideas, but, uh, <laughs> they they didn't come to fruition, as the saying goes. At least I think that's the saying. <laughs> okay, let's uh, uh, recompose here and uh, uh, see if we can. Uh... Oh, we were going to fix this. That's right. I was I was waiting here. Let me move this a little bit. If you remember, I was I was waiting until the glue dried so that we could uh, very carefully where I grab this because it does it is starting to get stuff glued down on it but if you remember right here I didn't want to push this in because I was afraid it would bring the other end out oh and I, I re repainted this last night okay I sanded it down and I and I repainted it it's it's going to be acceptable especially being as there's going to be a part on the front of it and you're not really going to see it anyway. But uh, I wanted to get rid of all that glinting glue that was in there. And uh, yeah, let's let's recompose here and uh, and uh, and get at it. I can't think of anything uh, uh, 
more to say here. Uh, <laughs> running out of things to do, I guess. Well, our sun is trying to come out outside there. That's kind of nice. It's quite a bit different from a couple of hours ago when I first got it was getting going here. Now, I, I was going to wait until later to, to shoot this scene, but I kind of want to use my uh, new, new tripod system. So, uh, let's just uh, recompose here. And we may as well turn everything on. Can you see it okay? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to have to change and put something on the bottom of this that's slippery, like maybe a piece of, uh, I don't know, like kitchen counter, uh, uh, you know, like a kitchen counter stuff. Uh, we, we here in North America we call it formica. Um, this up a little bit and so that it will stay balanced and, and also you can use it for height adjustment it's... oh I got a text I got a message let's see here let's back it up just a little bit it should go up now Okay, let's, let's see how that is. Lock that in place. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not, uh, I'm not used to this. Uh, oh, there, now you can see the sun shining outside. <laughs> I think I got it maybe a little bit too high. Yeah, okay, that that's pretty well balanced right now. Uh, and then of course, it, it can be locked in, into place. Um, I don't think I'll, I'll need to use this one. But you, you get the idea. Yeah, now you're looking at yourself. <laughs> Okay, what time we got here? 9.40. <laughs> okay, let's uh, stop fooling around here and uh, get to work on this. Okay, I think I've talked about this two or three times before, but I just want to clarify it. And that, as you can see, that, that this has to be pushed in. I think you can probably see it better on this side here. Or maybe not. Now, if I take my extra thin quick setting and drop it on the top, I'm probably going to make a mess of the paint job here on the deck. So I'm kind of hoping that if we turn this upside down, we can do the same sort of thing. And, uh, I don't know. We're, I'm going to have to rely on it to sort of wick its way down. And on this side here, Okay, let's let's just go on this side right here. Uh, I'll probably have to uh, hold it for a while because, you know, all I'm going to do is just 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 enough to wick its way in there, and that's all it's going to take, I believe. So I'll just hold it here. Now I'm hoping that it isn't oozing out the other side, but I don't think it is. Okay, 
I'll just push stop here in a minute. I should have thought of that in the first place. Okay, I think we're probably safe to take these off now. Probably about 10 minutes has passed. Now, if we sort of try and stay within the uh, progress that's in the manual, um, we want to stay, we want to put some of these pieces on. We've already done these three. And we'll get this turned around here so the perspective is right. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that most of these pieces we've already got uh, nipped off, trimmed, and painted. For sure we got the those, those uh, c cylinders. Um, okay, well let's, let's just sort of recompose here and maybe see if we can drop some of this stuff on. I think once again we'll we'd be best uh, letting gravity be our friend and just have it on its side like this. So I'll just prop everything up and uh, we'll find our pieces and uh, okay. Okay, very first thing we come to here is a little photo etch ladder. Let's try and get it up off of the without bending it. And it is supposed to go right there. Uh, now there's no markings on on the on the um, bulkhead here as to where exactly it's supposed to go. So I'm just going to put it in between, you know, so that it kind of looks symmetrical like that. Um, I think I pretty much got it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it down with the uh, using the uh, uh, flat clear again and it, it almost looks like it's a little bit a little bit bowed. Maybe I should try and straighten it. Yeah it's, it's a little bit yeah it's a little bit bowed this way isn't it? Um, Okay, I'm going to straighten it out off camera, put the macro lens on. We'll try and do the time lapse thing with, with the uh, flat clear and, and see if we can watch it shrink wrapping around. This may or may not work. We'll, we'll give it a try though. Okay, now it is my hope that I do not touch the ladder with the brush because the ladder will probably stick to the brush. So I'm just going to go beside it here and hope that it flows underneath. Yeah, that should work. No, I don't think it'll come up. Let's just see if we can get it to... There is quite a bit there, isn't there? Okay, the ladder is covered the way I want it, but I've got I've got too much here. Let's get one of get some of Gabe's uh, absorbent things here. Get some of that off. Just a little bit. Okay, get another one. And by the way, Gabe, I don't know if you're listening anymore, but I sure do appreciate your tip with these things. Yeah, that, that should that should be good. Now, I don't want to remove too much. Okay, let's get the lid back on here. All right, now the plan is I'm going to use the heat gun, and once you uh, hear the heat gun, then the time lapse will start. Oh, and by the way, the heat gun is set to 140 degrees Fahrenheit.
Okay. Now, I don't know how much time has passed. You'll know because I'll have superimposed the stopwatch. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see if we can just... I don't know if I want to be messing with this or, or not yet. Or something that I can just check and see if it's loose or not. It shouldn't be loose. Okay, now that is not going to be as, as strong as if I had used a, a CA glue or something. But at least it, you know, it, it, you know, it doesn't look like it's glued on, even though it is. Okay, I just edited out everything up until right now, and you don't really notice this with the naked eye. I'm just trying to get a little bit of 19 along this. heavy, eh? I'd want it to go up over the top, otherwise I'm going to have to get the, the 66. Okay, let's uh, quit while we're ahead here. At least I think we're ahead. Okay, we're back to having to stand it up on end again. The little ladder that we just put on is right there. And the next two pieces, they go right here and they are L and F 8 and once again there's there's no markings on on here so I have to sort of just guess how it's supposed to go um, yeah we'll be using the uh, Probably we'll be using the uh, extra thin. I don't think we need to use the quick setting. I'll, uh, I'll put the uh, macro lens on again. Now, I have no idea what this oddball thing is supposed to be, but it appears that it's supposed to go right up against the edge like that, and then this piece here is, it looks like it's sort of a something that you would you know you would walk for, for going going down into the I don't know if you'd come out of, out of this part here and go down I, I don't know it's what I'm gonna plan what I'm planning to do here is try and get them straight okay they, they look pretty good to to my way of to my perspective. Maybe it could come down just a little bit here. Okay. Being as that these are going to be at an angle and and, and we'll be looking in at the from right here. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do here is have the uh, extra thin just sort of wick its way underneath. I'm not going to drop it down there. I'm going to put it on the bottom. And uh, I think that's going to be that's going to be just fine. Okay, let's just uh, let's let that uh, dry now, and uh, I, I don't think those are going to come off. We're just sort of doing a dry run here. Okay, I think I'm going to just you do the uh, uh, extra thin thing again from the from the bottom, and just let it wick its way up.
Now, I suppose on these ones here, possibly what I could have done is uh, drop some, some uh, extra thin in the holes and then drop the pegs in the holes, but I think that this should do it. And just want to make sure I got enough there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't want to put on so much that it wicks its way out onto the uh, superstructure. Okay, now is this one all the way down? Okay, now moving right along in our manual, we need a couple of M11s here, an M10, and one M9, as near as I can tell. But I'm going to call it quits for today. Uh, thanks for watching everybody and all being well. We'll be seeing you in the next episode.